What's up, Foppers? This is Shifter from Focus on Play, bringing you the full or a very good tutorial on how to make your own gun in Counter Strike. How to deal with all the, you know, the console command to open it, how to get the image, the image set to the right file, the file, and everything like that. First off, what I want you to do, follow along. Uh, this link will be in the description, but I need you to go to NEMS Tools, and you're going to need a VTF Edit. There's an installer right here. You just go ahead and hit Install. Um, as you can see, I've already kind of, uh, well, I have already installed this, so um, <laughs> I guess I will be installing it again. Um, I'll clean up my PC later, so y'all don't have to worry about that. Um, but I'm going to go all the way through the file, just so you know that I am, um, just so I don't miss out on anything. Um, so accept the terms of agreements, I hit next, next, um, just do the VTF files, um, install, it'll install, um, and then we'll go ahead and launch that right away. So we got this right here. This will become um, apparent to us very soon. Um, so you want to go ahead and find the image that you want to do or make your own image, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this and do save it, uh, no, not the link, um, save image as, and then I'll just put mushroom. Okay, so that has now been put in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do file um, on your VTF edit, you're going to go file, import, um, go to your pictures. Um, as you can see here, I've got plenty of them. I'm going to go ahead and go mushroom. Um, you can just keep this the same. You can play with it. If you know a little bit more about it, you can do whatever. But um, I just go ahead and hit it. Uh, it's going to take a second to load, so take a deep breath. VTF edit not responding, which is good. Okay, there. Now it's there. Now you're going to go File, um, Save As. I went ahead, and this is going to be very important. It's going to get very confusing if you don't um, keep through with it, but we're just going to go um, Mushroom. I um, Keep it in a file. You know, Make sure you remember where you put everything. But I'm going to go ahead and hit Save, and yes, I'm going to replace it. All right. Now, now we can go to something that we've already kind of known. If you watch my earlier videos, um, or, or opening up workshop. So that's just workshop underscore workbench or workshop underscore workbench. There we go. All right. Now you got this. I'm just going to open it up to like right here. Um, go ahead. Uh, you can play with these all later. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the Pentina because it's just the one I like, but um, you can play around with uh, all of them as much as you want, get some really dope ideas. Um, I'm just pretty much doing the, the plain and simple. Um, I want to do that on the M4A4. Um, okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and choose my pattern, and this is where you're going to have to remember where you put your last one. I put mine in CSGO VTS, and I saved it under Mushroom. So now I've got the Mushroom right here. So I'm going to play around with it for a second. Uh, your scaling can uh, make the image smaller. Um, if you make it too small, it'll start copying itself. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like right now. we got the face right over there. Uh, you got the Y offset and the X off offset. So this kind of just moves around the image a little bit. I um, kind of want my face back. A uh, good way to do it if you're trying to like looking for exactly um, the right part of it of the image so you just kind of mess with it here um, come back face there it is right there at the top of the gun so we'll, we'll keep this this is what our guns probably gonna look like um, the rotation if you had your own image and it comes in upside down go ahead and flip it 360 degrees um, we're gonna go ahead and make it look factory new um, that has all the scale variants right there all this is just something that you play with this will do your um, how shiny your gun's gonna look and everything like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, go ahead and go back to hold. Um, so this is what our gun's uh, gonna end up looking like. It's got that little pink strip right there at the bottom, which is nice. Um, this is the reload animation. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do, put it in the workbench, because you're gonna wanna get a good picture of it. A nice, good, clean picture of it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit print screen. Gonna open up paint. Paints opened up. Um, this is just going to be what people see when they when they see your gun. Now I have a dual monitor set up, so and if you do too, you're going to want to go ahead and get rid of that other monitor. Um, so you got something like this. Um, you can go ahead and type down here uh, what we're going to call this, and we're going to call this the um, 
you know, M four A four. Well, we don't want to use Falcon. That's good. M four A four shrooms. Put that down here. Maybe make this red. Or whatever. Okay, so the file save as. I right, make sure it's not a J, uh, a PNG. You want to make sure it's a JPEG. Um, so we'll go ahead and save the real. Shroom. That's so I can easily find it. Okay, next thing that you're gonna want to do, um, in this file, are you gonna want to open up, um your pictures and then you're gonna want to go to the the picture that you have and you're gonna want to make a target file out of it which is very easily done um, oh, mushroom right there um, with Photoshop uh, paint doesn't do it um, unless you have some kind of crazy paint that I don't know about um, so it's gonna open it up and then first thing you want to do is go to image image size you have to make it of a power of two. I found that works for me is uh, 1024 by 512. I haven't had problems with that, so I go ahead and hit OK. I got that there. Save as. You can keep this in your pictures, but you need to make sure that you change this to Targa. We got our Targa file. We'll call this shoes. All right, or shoes. Okay. Uh, 32 pixel pits. All right, we're just pre-doing everything for when we try to submit the gun. All right, so we got our gun here. We're gonna go ahead and hit submit. Uh, it's gonna take a second, but it should work momentarily. Oh, first you have to save it at. Um, we'll save it as um, shroom m four a four. All right. So now that we got that saved, now it'll let us submit. And it'll do this, you'll, and if you haven't done this yet, you'll have to run a little um, in Steam installer for it, um, and then it doesn't take very long at all. Go ahead, we're gonna decide what picture we want. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, go to C, uh, go to users, go to whatever you are, and then go to your pictures um, right there. And what did we name this? the real shoe. Alright, there we go. And we'll call this um, the M4A4 shrooms. Alright. <clears throat> Description, I'm just going to put focus on play brings you. And then I'm going to just type in my, my YouTube channel. Because, you know, that advertisement, right? There we go. Alright, so Workbench. This is going to be your text file. It's going to bring you right here first, but you just want to go back one. It'll be right here. There's the shroom. That's our text file. The source image, that's the TGA one, the one that we had to resize. Um, and that should be in our um, C, Users, uh, Bryce, um, which is my name, if y'all are wondering, uh, Pictures, and then you have these, and then Chirpy Shroom, or Shrooms, fuck, it's one of those two. I think it's actually the same. Alright, so we got that. And then we need the, hold on, which one was that? Oh, the, the VTF that we used, um, which I put it, now this is, this is where it gets complicated, is when you're trying to submit it. But I put it in the CSGO VTF and then the mushroom. And then you want to just, I have read this. If you want to read it, you can. Um, then you just hit publish. And then publishing file, please wait. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. It pretty much will verify everything. A lot of. A lot of what I had trouble with was just. All right, there it is. That's our gun. Um, go ahead and uh, L shift it. Go to my profile. Check out the gun. Upvote it. I have some other pretty cool. Excuse me, pretty cool guns. If you want to check it out, 
Um, so that's basically what you do. So we just we went from square one, got all everything out of the way, we got it officially done. Um, feel free to ask any questions. I'll probably even make some more videos about uh, gun editing and all that jazz. But the um, a huge huge shout out to uh, Zorna bit Zorna dear. He helped me out quite a bit. He's an awesome dude. Um, let's see if I can find him on my friends list real quick. Um, maybe he's offline. Uh, here he is. Sonador. Um, we're going to view his Steam profile. This is him right here. Um, you know, he's a cool dude. Um, you know, very, very helpful. Uh, I don't know. I just appreciate very much the help that he's given me. Um, so this is my gun. So this has been No Shifter from Focus on Play, giving you, try to make it very, very, in a nice, tight schedule so it's fast. But um, if you want to see more of these, you know, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you liked it. If you want to see more, leave a comment in the below. If you have a good idea, maybe if you want to work with me and Zordabid for another uh, gun. Uh, we can work with you, teach you, um, have fun sharing ideas and everything. But this has been Ill Shifted from Focus on Play. Peace out.